In honor of the award season, we thought it would be fun to have our own Fabsome Doll Award. Okay, so we're going to need a theater. Check. Post nominations on our blog for people to vote for their fave. Check. A podium. Oh, wait. We need a podium. To make the podium, I use scrap cardboard, clear plastic from packaging, and glue. On a piece of cardboard, I draw and cut out a rectangle of cardboard for the base and two trapezoids for the stand. Cover with paper, glue the trapezoids onto the base, cut rectangles out of the clear plastic, stack and glue a few together, cut another on a corner's edge, leaving a small lip, glue it on top, glue the clear plastic onto the stand at an angle, use paper to add a little trim, place a doll on the base, to make a podium that supports the doll like a doll stand. Then for a little extra, I take a piece of wire from toy packaging, cut it down to size, wrap one end with a thin strip of paper, glue a small pom-pom to the other end, and glue it to the podium to make a microphone. For our award, we took recycled paper, cut it into thin strips, roll it around a toothpick, using glue to secure the ends, and add more paper, Adding different size strips, roll a wide strip of paper around a paintbrush to make it curl. Then I can position it into a wide cone. Glue the cone to the paper roll, paint it to make the dolls their own unique award. And you're done. Happy crafting! for the first annual Fabsome Doll Awards. And many of our favorite friends are here to support the nominees tonight. So Naveen, how does it feel to be here tonight? I am good, I guess, even though I was not nominated and I just want to say, okay, <laughs> moving on. Oh, look, it's Casta Fierce, one of the nominees. Hey Casta, wait up. Miss Fierce, do you think you'll be taking home the award tonight? Well, that's kind of hard to say. I'm up against a lot of really awesome dolls, and it's really an honor just to be nominated. But you know, they did build an entire concert stage just for me. Concert stage? I was given a house of cards, complete with furniture. Ah, it's another nominee, Lizzie Hart. I should win because I'm so cute. Oh, yeah! Ah! Hello, innovative 3D printed doll here. Everyone, let's not forget, this is just a little friendly competition. She's right, everyone. And this is exactly why I should have been nominated. Oh. Okay, I think it's time that we go inside to watch the awards. This is Jade. Bloody Lux here reporting live on the green carpet. Hey, I'm the reporter here. No, I'm the reporter. No, I'm the reporter. Hello, I have my own blog. So this is Spectra, live on the green carpet. Welcome to the first annual Fast 
awesome doll awards. I am your host, Sophie Darby, star of the Darby Show. <clears throat> I mean, co-star. <laughs> Sorry, Chloe. But tonight, we are recognizing the people's choice for the most fabsome doll used in a My Froggy Stuff production. In 2014, there were tons of dolls. 19 were nominated, and you voted. Wait a minute, aren't awards supposed to have musical guests? <laughs> no? Okay. How about comedy? Why should you never give a balloon to Elsa? Because she'll let it go! <laughs> hmm. Sorry, Elsa. So here are the top five Fabsum dolls of 2014. Chloe Darby! Thank you, I feel so honored! Hatsune Miku! <laughs> Sophie Darby! Oh, oh wait, that's me! Thank you! Isabel, American Girl of the Year! And the number one Fabsum doll is, or should I say Fabsum dolls, are After Ever After High Custom Dolls! Wow, thank you, thank you everyone. This truly is an honor. We love you! And we want to give a shout out to Gigi Smiles. What's up? Reporting live from the Fabs and Doll Awards, this is Jade signing off. Bloody Spectra. No.